Hey Leo, this read is for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. We'll see what the universe has to say to you today. Alrighty. So universe, what messages do you have for Leo? Ooh, she got a few. So let's see what we got going on here. So we have deception and envy, temptation, triumph, we have universe, fulfillment of wishes, and choose wisely. Mm. Usually when the universe shows up in my read, she speaks of being on your universal path or learning universal life lessons. I feel like we're speaking about a path here because uh, I do have that fulfillment of wishes and choose wisely. I feel like it's speaking of choosing a path in life. My prosperity begins, the waiting game, emotional loss, memories of love, and patience and planning. I feel like patience and planning is also speaking to building a future. Um, I feel like it's tied into that, that waiting game as well. But I feel like we might be speaking about recovering uh, possibly from a heartbreak or a relationship ending with that emotional loss in the memories of love card. Um, but I see positivity in this read already with that triumph, with that prosperity begins, that fulfillment of wishes. I, I see hope. I see a lot of hope for the future and success. I have the Knight of Cups. Ace of Cups. Let's see what we got here. So that Ace of Cups is all about new beginnings. And Cups tends to represent emotion. So I feel like it's speaking to, it's speaking to healing. I have the Knight of Cups, uh, which represents, he represents emotional victory. I feel like, I feel like he's tied into this Ace of Cups, uh, but I also feel like it's tied into choice. I feel like this is tied into a choice. I have the Five of Swords, which I feel is tied into a choice, and the Five of Swords can represent um, selfish or short one victories, sometimes victories at the cost of others. I feel it tied into that deception and envy and temptation as well. Uh, the Knight of Swords. Mm. So I feel like in these cards, I feel like in these cards we're talking about um, your ex. I feel like you haven't completely let go and beyond that, I think you've been keeping an eye on what they're doing. And I feel like that's what the deception in every card is speaking to. So I don't know exactly um, how it ended, why it ended. The cards might shed more light on that. Uh, but for whatever reason, you, you don't feel like you've been able to let go. I feel like this has also been going on for a while. I feel like the waiting game is speaking to that. And that might be why Tarot is talking about it as well. Um, encouraging you to change, that it's time to change, it's time to let go, it's time to move on. Um, that these feelings and this behavior is only gonna hold you back from success in life. I have the King of Pentacles, I'm kind of getting a vibe off of him, but I'm gonna pull a few more cards first. he's tied into this ten of pentacles which represents abundance uh, I don't feel like I don't feel like it's you I feel like I feel like it's how you view your ex with wealth and happiness and all these wonderful things well I feel like you're still hurting I feel like that's probably why you've had a hard time letting go um, because it's like you're watching them be happy without you. And it causes a lot of negative feelings. Um, I have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups can represent feeling emotionally withdrawn. I feel like this is a, a little bit consuming, but it's more than a little bit consuming for you. Um, 
I have the Nine of Swords. I feel like the Nine of Swords speaks to that as well. That feeling trapped or stuck in negative thoughts or emotions so much so that you have trouble breaking free of them and choosing another path and finding clarity. I feel like you're, you're having trouble moving away from this. You're having trouble finding clarity. You're having trouble finding happiness. You're having trouble finding inner peace and healing. I have the Queen of Cups. Uh, the Queen of Cups to me is symbolic of inner peace. Those are the words that I see when I look at her. It's peace. Peace. You will not have peace as long as you're keeping an eye on this person. As long as you're you're focusing so much energy on them. As long as you're hanging on to the loss and the hurt. You will never find peace. I have the Eight of Wands. To me the Eight of Wands is encouraging change. It's encouraging swift change and moving on and movement. I have the moon card and the moon card can speak to things that are still unknown to us or things that we sort of find out along the way. I feel like it's speaking to a couple different things. I feel like it's speaking to you not understanding uh, why this relationship ended and that's partly why you're hanging on to it so so tightly and not letting go i feel like it also speaks of truth that you're going to learn about yourself along the way should you choose to let go and move forward i feel like it's very personal inner truth uh, maybe even spiritual uh, i have the strength card to me the strength card uh, represents the inner strength that you're going to have to muster uh, to be able to break out of this cycle that you're in I have the two of wands, which also speaks to choice and choosing a path and that this is a choice to stay, to stay going the way that you're going or to choose to do something different, to choose to let go, to choose to move forward. I have the six of wands, which represents uh, triumph over obstacles. So to me, these cards are saying that you are completely capable of moving forward, of finding happiness, of finding inner peace again. Uh, it's just a matter of whether you choose to do it. Um, I have the Queen of Pentacles and she speaks of wealth and generosity and happiness and caring. And I feel like this is a path that you can choose by letting go. I feel like these are these are the things that you're going to be getting in your life. I'm not just talking about wealth and money. Uh, I'm talking about um, personal and within your soul and getting that happiness, that inner peace, big time peace. Inner peace is what I'm seeing in a lot of these cards. I have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups represents starting a bright new journey forward. Uh, I feel like Tarot is encouraging you to do that by putting the Chariot card next to the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups represents, or sorry, the Chariot card represents perseverance and positive movement forward. So definitely, I feel like the universe is encouraging you to start a new journey, to leave the past behind. I have the Ten of Cups, which represents abundance in the home life. So it's that personal abundance and happiness and inner peace. Now I have the lover's card here. Um, I feel like the lover's card speaks to two different things in this in this line here in this read. Uh, I feel like it's speaking to these cups that are left behind in the past and your ex. But I also feel like it's speaking to moving forward and opening yourself up to love again in the future and finding happiness uh, with somebody who's who's a better match for you. I have the Page of Pentacles. He represents good news on the way, uh, usually of a financial or an academic nature. Um, I feel like this is personal good news in general. I don't feel like this is tied into money or anything else. And I feel like it's also tied into making the choice. The good news, the reward for making this choice and moving forward is this Ten of Cups this happiness, abundance in the home life, and this lover's card, and finding love again. And not just love with somebody else, but loving yourself again and loving life again as well. I have the Seven of Cups, and again, the Seven of Cups is all about choice. It's a lot like Choose Wisely. It's having many options and weighing your options carefully. I have the High Priestess. Uh, she tends to represent sorry, your intuition and, and spiritual growth. And I think she's also tied into the strength and the clarity 
is going to take to be able to move forward to be able to see that this isn't serving you anymore it's like a higher understanding of wisdom um I've seen that it's time to move forward on your path and find success and find love elsewhere. I believe the Two of Cups is speaking to that. I feel it tying into that Lover's card as well. Um, and that love is still out there waiting for you. I have the Wheel of Fortune card, which represents your fortunes changing for the better. So I feel like being able to choose to move forward, that's what's going to change your fortunes. Because as long as you're doing the same thing, and you're sitting in, in the anger and the hurt, you're always going to feel this way. You're going to feel stuck. Um, you're going to feel the negativity and nothing's going to change for you. You have to choose change. Uh, you have to choose to be different. And positive things will come your way. Now, I have the Seven of Wands here. To me, the Seven of Wands is all about taking back control in your life. Um, I feel like it's tied into the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands, um, he can re represent moving. Um, so moving residences. I, I don't feel like he's speaking to, to moving residences. I feel like he's speaking to moving on, moving forward. And I have the Three of Wands, which reiterates that. And it's, it's that encouragement from the universe to overcome obstacles and keep moving forward while keeping your eye on the goal. And to me, in this case, the goal is happiness and inner peace. And, and it's something that you don't have right now because you're focusing so much energy on this person who's no longer in your life. Uh, it's time to move on. I feel like choosing to move on too is going to set you on your universal path um, to get to where you're supposed to go that may or may not include a soulmate. And as I said that I pulled the spiritual union card. So I feel like that's why the universe card showed up in here. And I think that that's why she's really pushing you to change. Um, because I think now is the time to heal and to get on the path that is going to bring you to your soulmate. It's very important to be able to move forward here um, so that you will be in the right place at the right time uh, with the right frame of mind and the right heart uh, for this person to come into your world. I have the transformation card. So to me, it speaks of this journey being transform transformational for you. Um, I don't think you're going to totally realize um, the gravity of this change until much further down the line. And probably when you run into this soulmate of yours that the spiritual union card is talking of, um, I feel like that is when you're going to be able to look back and you're going to see how this one choice, this one change that you made, made every difference to you in the world. I have material harvest. To me, material harvest is not talking about money. Material harvest is talking about happiness and growing your new life. And that harvest is more about inner peace, love, happiness. Alrighty, guys, that's what Tarot said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. If it resonated with you, please let me know. And feel free to like or subscribe if you're not already part of our community. We would love to have you here at Tarot Harmony. Take care.